Have you ever stopped to ask yourself, what's the real cost of a free email account? Take Gmail, for example. It's free, but you pay with your data. In this video, we'll be looking at what Gmail gets right, where it falls short, and to private email options that surpass it in key areas such as security, privacy, features, ease of use, and pricing. One of the options offers end-to-end -end encryption and doesn't even require your name or phone number to sign up. Stick around to find out which one it is. Let's dive right in. Let's be honest, Gmail is smooth. It's free, it's fast, and it fits right into everything you use, like YouTube, Google Drive, Google Docs, Calendar, and even Maps. It's intuitive, convenient, and feels like home, until it doesn't. This is because what most people don't think about is what they are trading for all that convenience, which is simply their privacy. This is what I mean. Gmail isn't just an email service. It's also a huge source of data for Google. Your data helps power targeted ads, search personalization, and a profile that follows you across the web. Sounds familiar? However, beyond privacy concerns, Gmail has several additional vulnerabilities in its system that require improvement. With Gmail, your email is encrypted in transit using Transport Layer Security, TLS, and AES-256 for emails at rest, but it doesn't offer end-to-end -end encryption by default. If a court order or internal process required your data, Google could technically decrypt server-stored mail because it holds the keys, unless your organization uses its client-side encryption. Speaking of its client-side encryption, which gives you total control over your data and restricts access by Google and other third parties, this end-to-end -end encryption is only available to organizations on the enterprise plan. Personal and business plans don't benefit from this level of encryption. In contrast, the best alternative to Gmail offers this end-to-end -end encryption by default, even on its free plans, which I'll reveal later in the video. On the bright side, Google shines in certain areas besides its intuitive interface and convenient ecosystem. It is very generous in terms of storage for free accounts, as it provides 15 gigabytes of shared storage across Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Photos. The best alternative only offers one gigabyte of email storage and five gigabytes of cloud storage, which is not enough compared to what Gmail provides. Another great Google alternative also offers one gigabyte of email storage, making Gmail the most user-friendly option in terms of free storage space. Now you might be asking, what is this best Gmail alternative I have been mentioning so far? Well, it's none other than ProtonMail, and I'll explain why it's considered the best alternative to Gmail. ProtonMail is built for privacy from the ground up. Based in Switzerland, ProtonMail is protected by some of the world's strongest privacy laws. But it is not just about laws, it is about structure. Proton's zero-access structure is the main reason it is glorified as one of the top privacy-first email services today. It offers end-to-end -end encryption by default using open PGP, ensuring that only you and your recipient can read the contents. Even free users benefit from this encryption, unlike Gmail, which restricts it to paid tiers. Proton also secures data with TLS during transit and with AES and RSA encryption at rest, the same standard employed by militaries and governments. Additionally, to verify the legitimacy of emails, ProtonMail enforces SPF, DKIM, and DMARC to protect against spoofing and phishing attacks. However, Gmail might still come out on top in terms of user interface and intuitiveness, but ProtonMail, on the other hand, isn't clunky in UI, even though it seems more minimalistic compared to Gmail. Proton has made significant UI improvements over the past year as it now feels clean, modern, and actually enjoyable to use. Like Gmail, ProtonMail utilizes its Proton ecosystem, which seamlessly integrates with other Proton services, including Proton Drive, Proton Calendar, and Proton VPN. Unlike Gmail, Proton doesn't display ads or collect your data for advertising and profiling purposes. They avoid collecting personal usage details unless required for basic service operations, like account creation or flagging spam. Even then, any spam scanning happens in memory before the message is encrypted and stored meaning the message content itself remains private. IP logging is turned off by default and is only temporarily enabled in cases of suspected abuse, such as spamming or distributed denial-of-service attacks. Gmail, on the other hand, collects more metadata than ProtonMail, as it logs your location information, device information, activity, and more. It's not just stored for security. It's used to fuel Google's entire ad and recommendation system. If you're concerned about your digital footprint, Gmail may not be the best choice for you. Another privacy-focused Gmail alternative that deserves an honorable mention is Tutamail. Tutamail, formerly known as Tutanota, places a strong emphasis on privacy and security. In fact, it outshines Proton in its minimalist approach to data collection. For instance, you don't need to provide your name or phone number to sign up, 
which highlights its commitment to true anonymity and zero data dependency. Like ProtonMail, TudaMail is fully encrypted and is based in Germany, benefiting from strict GDPR regulations. All Tuda clients are fully open source and can be audited by security experts. And when it comes to security, TudaMail brings strong encryption to the table. All emails, attachments, and calendars are encrypted end-to-end -end using industry-grade algorithms, including AES-256 and RSA-2048, alongside quantum-resistant cryptography known as Kyber-1024, which protects your data from future threats. However, when it comes to integration and a robust yet encrypted ecosystem, Proton shines, offering a more polished and comprehensive feature set compared to TudaMail. For instance, besides its seamless integration with other Proton apps, Proton Mail also provides up to 10 Hide My Email aliases to free users, a feature that TudaMail only provides to its paid users. Additionally, TudaMail's integration is limited to contacts and calendar, unlike Proton, which integrates with many more productivity apps. This makes Proton a more comprehensive all-in-one solution for users who want privacy without compromising productivity tools. If you currently use any of the Gmail alternatives mentioned, what has been your experience like? Kindly share them in the comments. And if you find this video insightful, please hit the like button as it helps more people discover it. All right, now that the best Gmail alternative has been revealed, alongside another worthy option for privacy-focused enthusiasts, let's see if Gmail's simplicity and intuitiveness still hold up in comparison. When it comes to ease of use, Gmail has long been the standard. Its interface is clean, familiar, and integrates tightly with the entire Google ecosystem, making it incredibly easy to manage emails, calendar events, and files all from one place. It's available across all major platforms, and its mobile app is one of the most responsive and well-optimized in the space. But Gmail doesn't offer a dedicated desktop app. Instead, it runs entirely through a web-based interface. Sure, you can pin a shortcut to your taskbar, but it's not a native experience. There's no offline first desktop software and advanced customization options are limited unless you're using plugins. Proton Mail, on the other hand, offers a more privacy focused user experience while continually improving usability. The interface has seen major upgrades in recent years. It now feels modern, intuitive, and surprisingly smooth. For desktop users, Proton Mail offers a native app. However, it's primarily available to paying customers. Free users receive a 14 day trial, after which web only access resumes. Still, Proton's mobile apps are sleek, responsive, and packed with the essential features you'd expect without ads or distractions. Meanwhile, Tuda Mail takes a more minimalist approach. It offers free, open-source desktop clients for Windows, macOS, and Linux, and it works offline, something both Gmail and Proton can't fully match without some technical workarounds. However, its interface is more utilitarian. While it gets the job done, it may feel less refined or familiar to users coming from Gmail. That said, it prioritizes simplicity and privacy over flashiness, and for many, that's a fair trade-off. In terms of cross-platform availability, all three have mobile apps for iOS and Android, but TudaMail is the only one offering unrestricted desktop app access for free. Gmail wins on polish and familiarity. Proton strikes a nice balance between privacy and usability, although it hides a few convenience features behind a paywall. Do you think Gmail's polished interface and familiarity are the reasons for its massive global usage? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments. Meanwhile, with all the rave on its simplicity and user-friendliness, let's see if Gmail is worth the value for money. To achieve this, we will compare Gmail's entry-level paid plan with the selected email options to determine which one offers the best value for money. Gmail's entry-level paid plan, Business Starter, starts at $6.30 per month. With this, you get 30 gigabytes of storage, access to Google's bunch of tools, and standard support. It also provides 30 email aliases and supports one primary domain. Proton Mail's entry-level plan called Mail Plus costs $4.99 per month. For that, you get 15 gigabytes of storage shared across Mail and Proton's other services, support for one custom domain, and 10 email aliases. Support is also more responsive for paid users, offering priority access to the help team. TudaMail follows closely behind with its revolutionary plan, priced at €3 Euros per month, which makes it more affordable compared to Gmail and ProtonMail's entry plans. It also offers 20 gigabytes of encrypted email storage, full support for three custom domains, and, unlike Proton, it gives you 15 email aliases right out of the gate. Tuda provides email support, uh, unlike Proton's priority support, but you still get all the core privacy features baked in by default. However, if you decide to try Proton or Tuda, 
I've included the best available links below. They often come with extra storage or a discount, so be sure to check them out while they are up. So, is Gmail really worth your money? Here's my take. If you're looking for a comprehensive Gmail replacement that prioritizes privacy, ProtonMail is your best option. It's secure, reliable, and ad-free. But if you'd rather have something cheaper, lighter, and completely anonymous, Tutamail is the way to go. That's it for today's video. Check out my email providers roundup here, or my best cloud storage picks here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.